In this video, we will learn how to derive angle curve from the given utility function. The question is, given utility function u is equal to under root x times y, x and y are the two goods. We have to derive angle curve for good x, okay? So basically what exactly is meant by angle curve? Angle curve shows us the relationship between income and quantity demanded of a good holding prices constant, okay? So basically what actually uh, we want to find out, we want to trace out the relationship between income and quantity demanded. Okay. So first what we need to do, we want to maximize our utility. That is, we want to maximize this utility function. That is u is equal to under root x times y subject to some budget constraint. Okay. And what will be the budget constraint? Let's draw a budget constraint. Simply budget constraint will be price of good x times units of good x plus price of good y times units of good y should be equal to the income. Let's denote income by m here. Okay. So first we want to solve this utility maximization problem and then we can find out the angel curve from that very stuff. Now we know that utility maximization requires simply the condition for uh, you know first order condition for maximization requires that our marginal rate of substitution between good x and y should be equal to the ratio of the prices that's price of good x times price of good y mrs is simply the marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of good y and it should be equal to price of good x upon price of good y this mux marginal utility of good x means the partial derivative of this utility function with respect to x and i can write it in this fashion also x raised power 1 upon 2 y raised power 1 upon 2 okay simple stuff so mux means the partial derivative of utility function let's denote it by del u upon del x and marginal utility of good y means partial derivative of utility function with respect to good y should be equal to price of x upon price of good y. Okay. So you go yokun, token. Now del u upon del x means partial derivative of this function. So derivative of x raised power 1 upon 2 will be equal to and let me write it here or here okay let us confine here so it will come out to be so derivative of this is 1 upon 2 x raised power minus 1 upon 2 by power function rule y raised power 1 upon 2 this is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x divided by uh, du upon dy partial derivative with respect to y. So y raised power 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 will become coefficient. x raised power 1 upon 2 will remain same because we are taking partials with respect to y and y will become minus 1 upon 2. It should be equal to price of good x upon price of good y. So 1 upon 2, 1 upon 2 gets cancelled which implies transposing y raised power minus 1 upon 2 to numerator it will get multiplied and it will add up the exponents will add up to 1. So we will get y in the numerator symmetrically transposing this x raised power minus 1 upon 2 to numerator. Exponents and changes. It becomes positive and gets multiplied with this uh, x raised power 1 upon 2. So it will add up to, you know, 1. You can see it very simple. Should be equal to price of x upon price of y. Okay. Now let us solve it for y y will be equal to price of good x upon price of good y transposing here it will become x rather it will get multiplied so to find angel curve what we need to do simply plug the value of y into the budget constraint so we have price of good x times x plus price of good y the value of y is this stuff now it's price of x upon price of y times x should be equal to income. Here you can see this this gets cancelled. Px times x. Px 
times x it becomes uh, twice p x times x is equal to m and this is basically our angel curve okay this is our angel curve angel curve as we have told angel curve shows the relationship between income and quantity demanding holding price constant okay if we hold the price constant here let us say price of good x is equal to 3 then what will happen so our m will be equal to so if it is this is 2 times 3 times uh, x so this becomes 6x that means m is equal to 6x this is our simplified angel curve if we want to graph it we can also graph let us say we have income on the vertical axis and quantity demanded on the horizontal axis we have m is equal to 6y so it will pass through origin we have no intercept here so m is equal to 6x is our angel curve and it simply shows if in, as income increases quantity demanded of good x also increases so this is the actually we can also uh, infer that the good is here normal good okay another thing is we can also derive the demand function from the angel curve if this is our angel curve what will be demand for good x simply solve for x that is x will be equal to m upon 2 px okay this will be demand for good x you can also find out the angel curve for good y here so same steps simply solve for x here and then you can find out the angel curve for good y also i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you